after the Arizona Supreme Court reinstated a near total ban on abortion. There has been more reaction and planning on what happens next. From continuing court challenges to what happens in doctor's offices and what could happen at the ballot box in November. Reporter Maria Stobbs joins us in the newsroom to give us the latest. After the ruling came down from the Supreme Court yesterday, abortion providers say they felt an immediate impact, with patients calling who were confused and concerned. In a conference call yesterday, Planned Parenthood said they were still unsure about how long they could continue to provide abortion services in Arizona. But they say they expect to continue providing abortion services through May and possibly into June. And they are still very much open for business. One of the things I want to be really, really clear about is that our doors will remain open regardless of whether we are offering abortion care or not, right? We have other services, LARCs, um, other things that, um, that patients desperately need. And Planned Parenthood has really ramped up a service called patient navigation. So we have actually a department headed by one of our um, clinical nurses whose sole responsibility is to help patients who weren't able to have abortions already in the state of Arizona because of other restrictions and regulations, such as the egregious 15-week ban, to get out of state to where they, they can receive the services that they need and deserve. Other abortion providers in the state aren't as clear about how long they'll continue services. One told us they will continue, quote, until the ban is enacted into law. Meanwhile, despite the ruling, Arizona's Attorney General Chris Mays says she will not enforce it. And during a press conference in front of the state capitol yesterday, Mays said her office is looking at its legal options. We are not going to prosecute uh, a woman or a doctor for abortion in the state of Arizona while I'm Attorney General, and I'm going to do that pursuant to my supervisory authority. This is not over from a legal standpoint, okay? My office is, is as we speak, uh, discussing what our next steps are. May said she is investigating an appeal of the ruling to the United States Supreme Court, among other things. It's still unclear if county attorneys across Arizona intend to enforce the ruling, but May said yesterday she would not allow any county attorney in our state to prosecute abortion. Voters will likely have a chance to decide on a ballot proposition to enshrine abortion rights in the Constitution in November. In the newsroom, Maria Stobbs, Cronkite News.